Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATMS Man Group page. And in today's video, we'll be talking about the top five timeline situations that you guys are gonna run into in the ATM business and how to handle them. Always remember here at PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATMS Fine Group page, we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. So without further ado, the top five timeline situations that you're gonna run into in the ATM business and how to handle them and what to expect. Point number one, master keys. All right, so what happens is you're, you've been in the game a long time. You wanna get master keys, which are the Mac encryption keys. How long does that, that process takes? What's entailed? What do we do about it? What's the situation? Usually, for the most part, most companies should be able to turn that around in, in 24 hours or less, ship you guys out your keys, however they ship them. Most people do them by mail, but some people do it a different way. But for the most part, you should be able to get keys in 24 hours or less. So that means if you're in the game for a long time and you wanna get master keys, you should be able to get them in 24 hours or less. Now here at PDQ, we can turn them around a lot faster and get them out to, to the appropriate parties. But for you guys who are not experiencing that, just to let you guys know, 24 hours is a sufficient amount of time to get whoever's asking master keys. Point number two, ordering ATMs. Most of the time when you order an ATM, we're told from the factory, they're talking about two to three days before they get the ATM out and then you got shipping constraints with that. Sometimes you get the ATM in five days from the time you order it, sometimes it takes a lot less. I am hearing in the industry, a lot of companies are saying there are up to a month to get an ATM. Here at PDQ, we don't take a whole lot, and not that month. We can usually get it out in two to three days, just like the normal, and it's been for the past 20 years. But I know some other people, they have some challenges. So just to let you know, standard in the industry is when a day you order it, two to three days to get it into the shipping lanes, and then you gotta deal with shipping challenges. Most of the shipping companies are excellent. They're running just as efficient as they used to be. Some are not right now, they're struggling. But, so you always figure, you know what, two to three days to get to order the ATM. Point number three, how long do I tell the location before they have the ATM? Now for us, regardless if I got the ATMs in the back or I got to order them, I always tell them the same thing. We're looking at two weeks, 10 days, 10 business days, we'll have the ATM. Truth be told, we might have the ATM in the back, I'll have it in in two days. But you know what, I, sometimes I like to give myself a little extra room, some things happen, some things go sideways, there's things that are more important, and we don't get it in inside of those two or three days. So I always tell the location, we're looking at 10 days, we gotta order the ATM, we gotta program the ATM, we gotta get it, even if I have it in stock. Now, for you guys who are new to the game, don't order that ATM. You know what, why don't you wait? I used to tell everybody to have that ATM ready to go. I don't tell them anymore because you know what, it takes a lot of energy to get that location. You gotta deal with getting the bank account and that first location. You know what, it puts a lot of pressure on you. Don't put any pressure on you ordering that ATM and have it sit. Let that location wait a little while, order your ATM when you get that location, and then from there you can put it in. This will save you guys some money. I do know guys who got excited, they ordered an ATM and now they got an ATM sitting. Some guys order five ATMs, they got five ATMs sitting. So don't put yourself behind the eight ball. The first thing that I would do is get that location, then order an ATM. You can deal with that little headache instead of having an ATM sit in your garage for months and months. Point number four, program the ATM. It usually takes anywhere from seasoned veteran 20 minutes up to three hours for somebody new to program an ATM. Most of the time what we do is we get a pre-program for the new people in the game. That way it's ready to go when they get it into their hands. Some people choose to, dr to drop ship it in there and help them program. We have found that a lot of times that hurts and some people get very frustrated. They're not so savvy when it comes to programming or setting up that ATM. We want to eliminate those challenges, but some people choose to do it that way and program. So you could be anywhere from 20 minutes up to three hours programming the ATM. And if you program it wrong, then you run into some issues. We choose not to do that here at PDQ, but other people do that and are successful at it. And point number five, parts and ATMs. Right now, there isn't any delays. Most of the ATMs are made in Korea and there hasn't been any problems. They're shipping on time, they're getting here. Where the timeline is getting crunched is when they're sitting out in the ocean in California and they gotta be unloaded and put in on a semi and getting to uh, the companies who are located in Texas. And then that from there, they go into a, a semi or a rail car and get to the people like myself. But there, there really hasn't been the, some of the shipping delays or some of the delays that have occurred in basically our whole country with like the chips for the cars 
or patio furniture or really anything, there's a lot of delays. But for the ATM business, for the most part, there hasn't. Now, you know what? We are starting to see some price increases. Uh, Jet Mega increased their price a, a couple months ago, and now another show song is increasing their price. But for the most part, prices have stayed constant. Steady stroll of parts have been really good at both manufacturers. Now, there are a couple other manufacturers out there that are, have been also really good. But for the most part, everything has been pretty good. It was just as good pre-COVID, and now it's, it's just as good. So we have been blessed in the ATM business, probably one of the only industries who are not seeing challenges with shipping delays and parts delays and manufacturing delays. So we're very blessed. So you, pretty much you can rest assured if we got this far, we're probably not gonna see anyone else. Hopefully that, that proves me right and not wrong. So thank you guys very much. So always remember here at PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATMS My Group page, we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. So if you're interested in starting your own ATM business, I wanna invite you to our free training entitled, How to Start Your Own ATM Business Before You Buy Your First ATM, where I'm gonna teach you the right way to set your ATM business up and avoid costly mistakes along the way. Where you'll discover how the ATM business works and potential income you could make explained in detail, how to set up an ATM business the right way and what category you need to register it under, how to open up your business bank account for your ATM business. Plus I will share with you how to talk to banks professionally so you feel confident and prepared when dealing with them. Others charge for this training, but I'm gonna give it to you absolutely free for a limited time offer and register today. Again, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page, where we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time.